where we are, Greater Fairlands National Marine Sanctuary, this is a federal marine protected area, part of NOAA's Office of National Marine Sanctuaries. And we're a system of federal marine protected areas that protect some of our nation's most prized underwater jewels, both fresh and marine water areas. And the Greater Fairlands National Marine Sanctuary is one of the most productive areas on the West Coast. We have incredible fisheries and marine life from the tiny microscopic plankton all the way up to seabirds and whales and white sharks. And this is a very rich, valued ecosystem for not only the animals, but also for communities and people. Along the Greater Fairlands Coast between Sonoma and Mendocino, we have bull kelp forests, which are very rich habitat near shore, growing from 10 to 60 feet underwater. And this kelp forest ecosystem supports invertebrates and fishes, which supports commercial recreational fisheries, as well as recreation and uh, indigenous practices and cultural practices that are valued by our coastal communities. In addition to kelp being an incredible ecosystem for marine life, it also plays a role in uh, climate change. We know that marine protected areas um, conserve biodiversity and increase the abundance of marine organisms and protect habitats. And a number of the habitats that marine protected areas protect also absorb carbon dioxide. So we have habitats like salt marsh and seagrass and even kelp. Um, these are photosynthesizing plants and algae, and so they absorb carbon dioxide and uh, release oxygen. And when they do that, they actually accumulate carbon in their tissues and then into the sediments that um, the roots of those plants are holding in place. And so when we protect these coastal areas and uh, prevent them from being impacted by human development, that means that these carbon dioxide sponges are able to um, continue doing what they do naturally. And what we really wanted to learn more about at the Fairlawn Sanctuary is what role does kelp play in carbon sequestration? So we did a study uh, at the Fairlawn Sanctuary and we basically found out that the kelp in our sanctuary absorbs about 600 metric tons of carbon dioxide every year. That's equivalent to about 500 cars driving for a whole year. There are global studies that indicate that kelp around the world all together absorb enough carbon dioxide that's equivalent to about 10% of the United States emissions in 2019. So it's not insignificant, but it's um, a role that the oceans play that is often not uh, talked about and is not included in climate policies and climate mitigation discussions. Kelp is extremely important for so many other reasons than carbon sequestration. Um, it's a foundation species. It's like the redwoods in a redwood forest. Without kelp, you don't have really much marine life at all here off our coast. Kelp is also culturally significant. We know that people have relied on kelp as um, food and for cultural practices for thousands of years. Kelp, we also know, alters the nearshore environment, meaning we know that it dampens wave energy. Uh, we have some studies that indicate that ocean acidification is um, not so severe in a kelp bed, so it offers refuge for organisms from ocean acidification. Unfortunately, these amazing ecosystems have been battered by a multitude of maladies over the last decade. In 2013, sea star wasting syndrome wiped out the sunflower starfish, which in turn allowed the purple urchin population to explode by 6,000%, decimating kelp forests. That was followed by continual marine heat waves and the warm waters of an El Nino. All these cascading effects led to about a 90% decline of bull kelp on the Sonoma Mendocino coast, up to 95% loss in some areas, which has been devastating for the ecosystem, devastating for the communities that rely on a healthy kelp forest ecosystem. And it's really critical that we restore the kelp that we had before this latest marine heat wave. Thankfully, California Congressman Jared Huffman was able to secure $2 million in funding in the 2022 Appropriations Bill to put towards restoring the kelp forests. 
At the Greater Farallons National Marine Sanctuary, in partnership with the Greater Farallons Association, we have brought together um, a huge collaboration of many different partners to really focus on the issue of kelp loss in California. We're working with the California Ocean Protection Council, the State of California Fish and Wildlife Department, and California Sea Grant, and many other nonprofit partners and academia to carry out the kelp restoration. We know it's critically important to bring that kelp back, and so we're investing a lot of time and energy right now in better understanding uh, what has driven kelp loss and what might impact the sustainability and the health of our kelp forest moving forward. And we are moving forward with actually in the water kelp restoration to bring kelp back um, through various methods, including removing urchins, which are preventing the kelp from being able to grow, and potentially seeding, so putting out kelp spores into the water to encourage the kelp forest to come back. There also could be attempts to bring in a baby kelp that's cultivated in the lab to, to outplant to some of the sites as well. Kelp is extremely resilient, and in the right ocean conditions, when it's nice and cold, can grow up to 12 inches a day. And so there's a lot of hope. I think the most important thing from this work is for people to realize how critically important the ocean is. The ocean regulates our climate. The ocean is absorbing so much of our carbon emissions. The ocean produces so much of our food. Um, we have got to put our focus on these critical ocean ecosystems that really sustain life on Earth. And in fact, every third breath that we take, we can thank the ocean for that oxygen because the ocean produces about 30% of our oxygen as well. So it's now our turn to take care of the ocean for taking care of us. And that's really what I see our collective role as, is protecting the ocean from harmful impacts so that it can continue to protect us.